Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your NVIDIA GPU to use it with PyTorch. So uh, using your uh, graphics card uh, to train your models and to use them uh, makes the process a lot more quicker than using your CPU. So let's see how you can uh, set up our NVIDIA GPU uh, to be used by PyTorch in this video. Before moving ahead, I would like to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor. Get fresh ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with Factor. Factor's separated meals are fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium, science-packed nutritional quality. It's perfect for those busy days for us programmers. Whenever I have some deadline or I have some work, I just order my meal through Factor so that I can just get along with my work and have a nutritious meal. Factor's no SL prepared foods make sure you always have something nutritious on hand when you don't have time to think about making lunch or dinner. You can grab a prepared smoothie or a keto shake for a quick snack or heat and eat a chef quality meal in just 2 minutes with no prep or cleanup necessary, so you can stay focused on what you love to do. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use the code FACTORSE35503 for 50% off on your first box. Now coming back to the video, um, so uh, to set up our NVIDIA graphics for PyTorch, uh, we need to download uh, these three things. So all the links will be kept in the description so you can uh, see it from there. So first of all, we need to install uh, Visual Studio 2019. So just copy the link I have in the description. And go to the 2019. So we have to download the 2019 version. So uh, click download on the 2019 community version. Yeah, so I have I already downloaded it, so I'll just open it from here. Uh, so yeah, VS community. Let's continue. So uh, after the installer opens, you can uh, you can select any of the options, any of these two options. So I just do uh, download all and install. Uh, do you want to continue with, or you can just click on continue. So this will take a little bit of time, depending on your internet speed. So after the installation is complete, uh, you can close this window and now uh, go to the PyTorch uh, link that I have kept in the description. So here in the PyTorch website, uh, it will show you which version of CUDA is compatible uh, with the current PyTorch version. And so as you can see here, uh, CUDA 11.7 and 11.8 is mentioned, so you can choose any one of them. So uh, to download, let's uh, try with CUDA 11.7. Um, so I have uh, mentioned the CUDA link in the description. So uh, go to that link. Uh, and from here, download the 11.7. Uh, So 
select your windows and download the local file uh, i've already downloaded the file so i will proceed with the installation Uh, click the continue button uh, click on express then wait for it to install Now click on next and the installation is complete. Um, now we need to download the CUDA DNN. So go to the link in the description. So we need to download the CUDA DNN version for the CUDA version we have downloaded. So since we downloaded 11.7, uh, so for 11.7, uh, we can download anyone from here. So or 11.x so this will work click on local installer for windows so actually i have already downloaded this file too so i just uh, go to its folder so this will be in a zip file you will need to extract it using winrar or any other uh, extractor so right click and extract so now what we need to do is uh, so go to c program files uh, nvidia gpu computing toolkit so you will see that here CUDA is installed and we need to replace uh, so we need to paste some of the files from C C DNN here so go to the CUDA DNN extracted folder so you'll see that it has three folders bin include and lib so we'll paste the content of each one to the CUDA folder so starting from bin so I will copy this go to uh, files NVIDIA GPU toolkit CUDA 7 and inside the bean folder I'll just paste it uh, now do the same for the include and lib folder now in the lib folder go to the x64 folder and then copy the contents and paste it in the CUDA folder After this, we need to check uh, the path variables. So, uh, source for path.
and uh, in the system variables just search for CUDA path and CUDA path uh, version 11.7 so if these two are present uh, then you are set to go so you can click OK and continue now we need to install uh, PyTorch so if you have uh, older installation of PyTorch I would recommend you to uninstall that first so uh, we'll have to install PyTorch using the command so that, that is given in the PyTorch website so copy that command and let me open VS Code so let's just create a test file in VS Code so first we will need to install PyTorch so I'll just copy that command and paste it here so it will take some time depending on your internet connection So now after the installation is complete, uh, we will test if the GPU is working. So just import torch. So uh, I will paste these two lines of code in the description. You can copy it from there. So yeah, it is showing the number of uh, GPU I have and it is showing the GPU name. So I have RTX 3050. So this so this means that PyTorch is detecting my GPU. And so if I train uh, any models or uh, if I do anything with PyTorch, so it will start to use uh, my GPU from now on. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If, you, uh, if this worked for you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.